False. A Boolean value representing the concept of falsehood. It is one of the two possible Boolean values in Python, along with true, and is used in logical expressions for conditional statements to represent a false condition. Now, imagine you're dealing with an authentication attempt. Someone's trying to sneak into your secret club, but lo and behold, is underscore authenticated is proudly wearing the false badge. It's like having a bouncer at the entrance saying, Sorry pal, your credentials are as fake as my enthusiasm for Monday mornings. Try again. None represents the absence of a value or a null value. It is commonly used to initialize variables or indicate missing data. In Python, functions without a return statement implicitly return none. For example, the get underscore profile function. Imagine this as a detective trying to find a specific profile in a vast database. Request user is underscore authenticated. This check is like asking the detective, hey, do you even have someone to look for? If yes, the detective triumphantly returns the profile they found like presenting a suspect lineup. But if no, the detective shrugs and says, sorry chief, nothing here. This nothing is represented by none. True, a Boolean value representing the concept of truth. Like false, it is used in logical expressions for conditional statements to represent a true condition. Imagine you're coding a dating app. Don't worry, this one's ethical. You need to check if someone is single before showing them potential matches. Here's how true plays its part, is underscore single function checks if a user is single, available for love. If user's relationship underscore status single, ding, retunes true, and this user is ready to mingle. Else return false sorry, got a swipe left on this one. And, a logical operator used to combine conditions, returns true if both conditions are true, otherwise it returns false. For example, x and y is true only if both x and y are true. For example, imagine you're coding a pizza ordering system for a party, because who doesn't love pizza? You need to make sure there are both enough pizzas and enough toppings before placing the order. Here's where n steps in. Function can underscore order underscore pizza checks if we have enough pizzas and toppings for a party. The function is asking, do we have at least four pizzas and three toppings each? Dot. If true, then pizza party time. Else sorry, pizza dreams dashed. As used in import statements to alias module or class names, providing a shorter or more readable name in the code. For example, import math as M allows you to use M as a shorthand for the math module. Here, the members of the math club gather for their weekly meeting, exchanging secret handshakes and whispering code names. As oversees the introductions, as is like the club's president, assigning cool code names to each member. NP becomes the code word for the numerical genius, while PLT stands for the plotting prodigy. Only those who know the aliases can unlock the secrets of the graph. Assert. A debugging aid that tests a condition and triggers an error if the condition is not true. It helps identify issues during development by enforcing that certain conditions must be true at a specific point in the code. Imagine a robot chef is whipping up a feast for a grand banquet. But before serving any dish, Assert steps in to inspect the kitchen. Creates a delicious soup but only if the ingredients are safe. If there were no A ingredients robot will tell we cannot make soup without ingredients. Dot. Think of assert as the kitchen's health inspector, making sure the robot chef isn't serving raw chicken or burnt cookies. If any condition fails, assert throws a tantrum, halting the cooking process and demanding immediate attention. Break. Used to exit from a loop prematurely, immediately terminating the loop's execution. It is often used with conditional statements to break out of a loop when a certain condition is met. Here the bake cookies until tired function represents a robotic chef endlessly baking cookies. It iterates through a list of cookie recipes, attempting to bake each batch. If the oven overheats, it takes a break to cool down. The process continues until the robot chef runs low on energy, signaling a break from baking. The code ensures cookies keep coming, but prevents potential kitchen disasters and considers the robot's energy levels for a well-deserved break. Class defines a class in object-oriented programming, allowing the creation of objects with shared attributes and methods. Classes provide a way to structure and organize code in a modular and reusable manner. Here bank account class is like the blueprint for opening new accounts. It outlines the essential features and actions that each account will have. It is the foundation for managing personal finances. It's like having a reliable bank teller who's always ready to help you with your deposits, withdrawals, and financial goals. Continue. Skips the rest of a loop's code block and moves to the next iteration, 
allowing the loop to continue with the next iteration. It is used to skip specific iterations based on a condition without exiting the entire loop. Def declares a function or method specifying a block of code to be executed when the function is called. Functions provide a way to encapsulate and reuse code. Del deletes a reference to an object, allowing its memory to be reclaimed by the Python interpreter's garbage collector. It is used to remove variables, items from lists, or attributes from objects. Elif, short for else if, used in conditional statements to introduce an additional condition to be checked if the preceding conditions are false. It provides an alternative branch in the code. Else, part of a conditional statement executed when none of the preceding conditions are true. It provides a default branch to be executed if none of the specified conditions are met, except, used in try except blocks to handle exceptions, specifying a block of code to be executed if an exception occurs within the try block. It allows for graceful handling of errors. Finally, a block of code that is always executed, regardless of whether an exception occurs or not. It is useful for cleanup operations, such as closing files or releasing resources. 4. Initiates a loop that iterates over a sequence such as a list, tuple, or string, executing a block of code for each element. It is commonly used for iterating through collections of data. From. Used in import statements to specify the module or package from which to import functions, classes, or variables. It allows you to selectively import specific elements, rather than importing the entire module. Global declares a variable as global, indicating that it should be accessible and modifiable from any scope within the program. It is used when a variable needs to be shared across different parts of the code. If a conditional statement that executes a block of code if the specified condition is true, it provides the ability to make decisions in the code based on certain conditions. Import imports modules or packages, allowing the use of functions, classes, or variables defined in external code. It enables code reuse and modularity. In use to test whether a value is present in a sequence, such as a list, tuple, or string, it returns true if the value is found in the sequence, otherwise it returns false. Is compares the identity of two objects, checking if they refer to the same object in memory. It is different from the equality operator, e which checks if the values are the same. Lambda creates an anonymous, nameless function, often used for short one-time operations. Lambda functions are useful for situations where a small, temporary function is needed. Non-local declares a variable as non-local, indicating that it is not local to the current function, but refers to a variable in the nearest enclosing scope. It is used in nested functions to modify variables in the outer, enclosing scope. Not a logical operator that negates the truth value of a condition. It returns true if the condition is false and vice versa. Or, a logical operator that returns true if at least one of the conditions it connects is true. It returns false only if both conditions are false. Pass. A placeholder statement with no effect, used when a statement is syntactically required but no action is desired. It is often used as a stub during development. Raise. Raises an exception intentionally, allowing the program to handle errors or exceptional situations. It is used to signal that something unexpected has occurred. Return specifies the value to be returned by a function, terminating its execution and providing a result to the calling code. Functions can return values that can be used in the rest of the program. Try introduces a block of code in which exceptions can occur, allowing for graceful handling of potential errors. It is often followed by one or more except blocks to handle specific types of exceptions, while initiates a loop that continues executing a block of code as long as a specified condition remains true. It is used when the number of iterations is not known in advance. With introduces a context manager, simplifying resource management by automatically acquiring and releasing resources. It is commonly used with files, ensuring they are properly closed after use. Yield, used in generator functions to produce a value, pausing the function's execution until the next value is requested. It allows the creation of iterators in a memory-efficient manner. Async, declares a function as asynchronous, allowing the use of the await keyword within its body for handling asynchronous operations. Asynchronous functions enable non-blocking execution, particularly useful in I.O. bound operations. Await 
used within asynchronous functions to pause execution until the awaited asynchronous operation is complete without blocking the entire program. It is used with async functions to wait for the completion of asynchronous tasks.